Night Shift was an easy pick for number two since it follows Night Patrol on the list and sits by that movie on a shelf in my house. Honestly, there's no sense putting too much effort into this thing. Directed by Ron Howard, the film stars Henry Winkler, Michael Keaton, Shelley Long, Richard Belzer, and Vincent Schiavelli. The gist of the movie is a mild-mannered morgue clerk Tried to say that three times fast. Named Chuck, played by Winkler, gets kicked to the night shift and paired with a basket case named Bill, who's played by Batman 89 himself, Michael Keaton. Bill is always looking for a way to get rich quick. I'm an idea man, Chuck. All right? I get ideas all day long. I can't control them. Okay, here's an example. Watch out. Stand back. This is Bill. Idea to eliminate garbage. Edible paper. Bill continues to get on Chuck's nerves, but as in all films, they have to come together, become friends. They decide to start a business out of the morgue, and no, it's not an Etsy store. They become pimps for Belinda, played by Long, and her associated Ladies of the Night after their most recent manager was murdered by Detective John Munch himself, Richard Belzer. They're not Magnum Force pimps shoving Drano down the throats of their girls all the while waiting to be blown away by David's soul. They're nice pimps. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Excuse me. Love brokers! <laughs> Hilarity ensues as Chuck and Belinda fall in love, turning everyone's life upside down. Hey, it's Joe Spinell! He's the balls, man! I like this movie. It was a cable TV staple in the 80s and the 90s, and it is on my personal list of rewatchable films. There's great chemistry with the cast, and though it's not a perfect film, it is worth the time to give it a view. Besides, where else are you going to see the Fonz go from being a laid-back guy to a laid-back pimp? Ayy! You're about to become one of the Great Lakes.